Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ivatron, and Genshin Impact just tweeted out the new character banner and the details for Hu Tao. Excuse my dog's ears if you heard that. Um, but here it is. The new character banner is going to be Hu Tao, of course, Sin Cho, Kong Yun, and Shang Ling. Now, this is not a bad character banner at all, honestly. Uh, if you're a new player and you're looking to get some characters, honestly, you cannot go wrong with any of these three or Hu Tao. I think they're all going to be exceptional units, honestly. Uh, Sing Cho is honestly one of the best supports in the game. Uh, Chang Yun is just really, really good for many different instances. And Shang Ling is just, you know, an unbelievably good support in my eyes. Uh, but if you need in need of a DPS, she can also work. Any of these can also honestly work as support or DPS. So this is not a bad uh, character banner at all in my view. Um, I think for me, all I need is Sin Cho, really. Uh, Shang Ling, I have her C3, but I don't honestly use her that much just because I have other pyro characters. But Sin Cho is a C5, and I just need one copy of him to get him to C6. Uh, so probably going to be doing, I'm about two, uh, I want to say two multis or 20, 20 pulls away from a gold. And it's not guaranteed who Tao, but you know, it's a 50% chance that it is her. So, you know, hopefully uh, I can beat the odds and uh, get Hu Tao. She's looking to be like a really, really awesome uh, character. If you haven't seen my video on her details and her skills, uh, there'll be a card around here uh, linking you to that. Uh, Sincho, honestly, in my view, he's one of the best support characters in the game, as well as just a really good damage dealer. He, I would say he's like a sub DPS because his Union Burst, or not Union Burst, sorry, I'm thinking Princess Connect. <laughs> his ultimate uh, is really, really good. Uh, it can persist even though he's not on the field. And if you're using it with somebody like Hu Tao, right, with her, her skills going to Pyro, every hit you do with Hu Tao while his uh, ultimate is on, will be a Vaporize. So, uh, I tried this out with uh, Dilluk and Sincho, and it works really well. And the damage you can deal is just incredible. So, just a good, really good unit overall. I think a lot of people still kind of, they know that he's good, but they don't build him that often. I don't see him used as often as uh, even Chong Yun. So, but overall, honestly, just a really good character banner. Uh, they also released uh, some info on Hu Tao's story quest. Uh, for this one, you have to be AR40. So getting up there, I think the majority of the people that have been playing at the beginning of the game should be honestly around AR50 and above. So that shouldn't be a problem for them. But for new players, yeah, you're going to be a while since you get to do this quest, unfortunately. But no worries, because you have a ton more quests before that. So. You also have to complete, I think it's like chapter three or chapter one, act two, farewell, okay. So uh, that's pretty much the requirements. I think the majority of the people that have been playing for a while should have this done. Uh, they also released uh, some new info about a new event coming. And here it is, the bishops and where to find them expedition event. Uh, during this event, Catherine of the Adventures Guild will post a daily investigative expedition or bishops and where to find them. Once completed, you can earn primo gems and other rewards. So, I think I saw a preview of this uh, when they did their update show, and I believe it was just like you get to send characters out, and then once your characters can find them, you can actually go and like kill the bishops. So, yeah, primo gems, more books, all good stuff, all stuff we need, and the weapon banner is still going to persist throughout the whole run of Hu Tao. So if you haven't gotten a chance to go for the weapon banner, uh, don't feel pressure to do so. Uh, you can go for Hu Tao first and then maybe whatever you have left over, try to get one of these weapons. Staff of Homa is unbelievably good, honestly. If you have Zhang Li, I would almost say that this weapon is, I, no, I can confidently say that this weapon is his best in slot. Uh, it just is. Uh, even over Zhongli's uh, weapon, right? Uh, it's just so good on him. And I've been using it on him lately, and it's just his damage is unbelievable. 
Uh, Wolf's Greystone is also just one of the best five stars in the game, honestly. It's just your stats that it gives you is, is just insane. And not only you, it also boosts your party. So uh, overall, both of the banners are really good, honestly. Uh, uh, the lithic weapons are going to be even better considering that all the characters on the character banner are all from leeway. So if you got any of the lithic weapons, uh, this is a great banner for you. You're going to be able to equip your team and you get to get at that uh, crit rate and attack boost from all of them. So also the wits of the lines were really good. Sacrificial bow. I use this on Venti and it's really, really good. Uh, maybe a little bit less attack, but I really like the energy that you're able to get from that. Besides that, it's just a test run. Basically, you get to try each character. I would recommend you do this before you actually summon. But just because, you know, they can come out and you might try a character out and you end up actually not liking them, you know. It'd be better to find that out before you actually summon for them. Uh, so yeah, make sure you do this first and also it gives you a little bit of rewards for doing so. Yeah, pretty much that's all the information that Mihoyo released today. Uh, the... Hype is here, man. Hu Tao is coming, and I really want to get her. She is just an awesome character. If you haven't seen, uh, like I said before, uh, anything about her, I did make a video talking about her skills and basically how she's going to work. And I'm still debating on builds, but honestly, I think Four Piece Crimson has me pretty much convinced that that's going to be her best. But yeah, besides that, guys, uh, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this character banner, what you think about the weapon banner. Uh, what are you going to prioritize? Who you're going for? Um, like I said, for me, it's just Sincho. He's just so good, and I really want that C6. So we'll see if maybe I can throw a little bit more to try to get him. But, you know, if, if you don't get any of these guys, eventually they'll come back. The Forcers come back pretty often, so do not worry about that. Wu Tao is going to be a great character. But besides that, I uh, hope you guys are eager to summon on this. Hope you guys are hyped for Hu Tao as much as I am. Uh, be careful. <laughs> Try not to go too ham on either of these uh, banners because they're both really good. I know I already spent like $50, so I'll talk about that, but I did get staff at home, so it was actually pretty good. Besides that, I wish you guys uh, the best of luck on these banners and your summons. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for all this. Uh, Leave a like if you enjoyed, uh, subscribe if you want more content from me, and I hope to, do, you know, I just wish the best of luck for you guys, honestly. Uh, hope to see you guys in the next video. Alright, touch you guys later.